Okay, so today we're going to quickly run through 10 things not to do to your pet ferret. Number one, don't leave them in their cage all day. Now, they may sit there looking quite cute and sleeping in their baskets and their hammocks all day, but ferrets could sleep up to 18 hours a day. But generally, when they're bored, they will just have nothing else to do but to, to sleep even more. So just because they're sleeping in their hammock in their cage doesn't mean that they're well tended to. They need to get out and have some cardio exercise, some energetic play, and generally just enrich their lives. So make sure they have plenty of outdoor cage time every day for them to just be themselves. Ferrets evolved in the Northern Hemisphere where the daylight hours vary throughout the year, and this changing in season is built into their um, biological clocks. It specifically is vital for their healthy well-being for these variations in daylight hours to occur. Or more specifically, it's vital that they don't have continued excess exposure to light throughout the year. Now we're not just talking daylight here, we're talking about artificial light in the evenings too. Those ferrets kept indoors can quite easily be exposed to 16 or more hours of light a day. Excess light triggers excess hormone production and has strong links to adrenal disease. And there's more about that in the video linked above now. For those kept indoors, you can manage this excess light exposure by providing dark closed nest boxes rather than open hammocks for them to sleep on, and even providing a cover to cover the entire cage in the evenings if it is in a room where the lights are going to be on after 6 p.m. Now this next one might be a little controversial, but I just don't like water bottles. Sure, they can get all the water Water they need, but it just seems an awful lot of effort to get the water versus drinking from a bowl. Imagine as humans, we have a water cooler at the side of the office and they only give you these tiny little ketchup cups that you get in McDonald's to fill the water up and drink a tiny bit at a time. Sure, you're going to get the water you need, but it's quite a chore and it's far preferable to have a decent sized cup just to drink the water you want at the time you need it. Of course, the problem with water bowls is ferrets drag them and spill them and turn them over, so you need a pretty heavy duty one like this. This is a ceramic one, it weighs about one and a half kilos, over two pounds. You can see it's pretty large, it's bigger than uh, bigger than the size of an average deer, so it takes up a lot of space in the, uh, in the cage. If you can't fit that sort of water bowl into your cage, you can get water bottles which empty into a reservoir, which allows the ferret to free drink rather than licking the nozzle of the water bottle. And this free drinking solution will be markedly better than a standard water bottle alone. The next one on the list is try not to get plastic or silicon chew toys. These look great and they're well marketed in pet shops, but ferrets are very good chewers and they eventually destroy these and turn them into tiny little bits which they ingest and they're generally not good. Ferrets love toys just as you would expect, but rather than soft chewable toys you can get Anything that's relatively hard plastic, so they can give it a bit of a chew, but they're not really going to get bits off. Fabric ones, they love a good fabric toy. Those are excellent. Or even something as simple as a sock. Never descent a ferret. That is, do not have their scent glands removed from their bodies by surgery. Now, this is unlikely to impact many people because in North America, the Marshall Farms, etc., they descend the ferrets at the farm at six weeks of age. And in Europe and the UK, the act is illegal. So the decision is largely made for you. But if you are in a location where descenting is an option, please do not choose this. It is an unnecessary elective surgery, which serves no benefit to the ferret, but it can cause psychological harm. Ferrets use their sand glands as part of a defense mechanism now, the removal of these, and the ferret knows that they have been removed, can cause psychological problems in that they feel more defenseless than they otherwise would. This could lead to mental health problems within your pets. Another medical related one is to avoid early sterilization of your ferret. Now, this decision may be taken for you, as in North America, where the Marshall Farms sterilize their ferrets at an early age before they go to the pet stores. But in many other countries, the decision is up to the owner at what point in time they choose to sterilize their ferrets. Early sterilization has strong links to adrenal disease and insulinoma, the later they're done the better, and ideally not before six months of age. This is likely to be another controversial one, but don't bathe your ferret. Ferrets don't need baths. The only reason might be if they've got themselves excessively dirty and they need some help, but don't bath your ferrets to try and get rid of its musk. Ferrets have a musk. As pet owners, we just need to accept it. Don't try and change who they are. Bathing will only strip their coat of oils, temporarily remove or just simply overpower their smell. The perfumes included in the washes you use on your ferret may be seemed quite mild to a human, but it could be for a ferret 
a very strong and dislikable scent. We have quite a number of ferrets and have had so over a number of years, and the vast majority of our ferrets have never seen the sight of a bath, yet all of them have glorious condition coats and a very natural smell. Pet treats are a great way of bonding with your ferrets, but you need to get the right one. Pet food companies are great at marketing treats to consumers. Ferrets are carnivores and they benefit primarily from meat-based products, but most pet treats are principally vegetable-based starch products. Those starchy treats are not great for ferrets and they're entirely unnecessary as there's plenty of 100% meat treats out there. Generally, you'll be looking for anything that says 100% meat and it'll be freeze-dried or air-dried, dehydrated, that sort of thing. They'll come in little cubes, cubes of meat, and they all love it. An alternative is salmon oil. It's a great alternative. You can put a little dropper and just put it on the floor or just feed them directly from the dropper. Almost all ferrets will love that. Salmon or meat pastes are a good one, but important to check the label on those. Make sure it is just principally meat or fish based and it's not full of grains or cereals. Videos and pictures on the internet of ferrets in cute little outfits and collars may look good on social media, but they're quite dangerous in general for ferrets to wear, unsupervised of course. As you're aware, ferrets will get in and out and snuffle in tight spaces and collars and clothing will just get trapped on anything. It may be somewhere you can't find them and a trapped collar will mean that they thrash and writhe around the place trying to get free and they could choke themselves to death. Therefore, other than a quick photo shoot, please don't be tempted to put a collar on your ferrets. It's not a dog. Okay, so we've got to number 10 and this is probably one that I shouldn't have to say, but please do not hit your ferrets. Ferrets are often mischievous and naughty. It's in their very nature. But discipline, whilst necessary, should not be in the form of hitting. A great non-physical form of discipline is a naughty box. Any sort of box. The ferret is naughty. They go in it, close the door, five minutes, and eventually they get the idea that if they're misbehaving, they get stuck in the box. It's boring. They don't want to do that again. We hope that gives you a quick run through of some key things to avoid, not to do to your ferrets, not to give to your ferrets, and to give them a better quality of life. Many of the issues discussed are covered in more detail in longer videos on our channel, so do check those out, and we'll see you in another video very soon.